Hello guys, this is Only Abi Doang and today I'm going to be showing you another 50 more fun little details in The Sims 2 that's not in The Sims 3 and The Sims 4. That's right, I changed my mind. This is the fourth part of The Sims 2 details video that I made around almost two years ago. First of all, before continuing, I just want to apologize for not uploading videos for a really long time. As some of you may know, I'm a medical student and I just entered my clinical rotations in a hospital several months ago with scheduled shifts and all that. So it's really hard to find some spare time to make YouTube videos. With that being said, before going into the list, I'm gonna make two corrections about the previous details I've mentioned. In one of the videos, I said that functional radiators are a Sims 2 thing only. Well, with the introduction of The Sims 4 Snowy Escape, there's a new heater that works the same. So I guess it's not really exclusive to The Sims 2. I also said that The Sims 2 is the only Sims game where you need to grocery shop or have it delivered because your fridge will run out of stock. Well, with the introduction of Sims 4 Cottage Living, there's a new lot challenge called Simple Living, which makes it so that your Sim has to have all the required ingredients in order to cook a meal. You can buy it from the grocery stall or have it delivered through phone as well. Because of that, instead of showing 50 more details, I'm gonna show you 52 details instead to cover up those corrections. So we'll be starting from number 149. The school bus driver will wave at all the students when they're getting into the bus. If you place a tabletop sink on a counter, the top handle of the counter will be removed. Sims can sometimes slide down the water slide on their bellies instead of on their backs before splashing into the pool. Oof, that's gotta hurt. If your sim lives in an apartment with toddlers or kids and have good relationship with their neighbor, they can ask the neighbor to watch their kids. The neighbor will then act as a free nanny and take care of the kids. The Sims 2 is the only main Sims game to have some form of water physics. If someone dives into a swimming pool, animated 3D waves will be formed throughout the water surface. In The Sims 3 and The Sims 4, the waves are in the form of 2D visual effects, unfortunately. When it's raining, you can actually see water flowing down the roof. This detail isn't present in The Sims 3 and 4, but you can see raindrops dripping from the edge of the roof in The Sims 3. After drinking a cup of fruit punch from a keg, Sims will smash the plastic cup with their head before throwing it away. When doors in Sims 2 are being opened or closed, they will bounce a bit at the end of the animation. This is different from The Sims 3 and Sims 4 rigid door animation. You can see Sims actually use a bar of soap when washing their hands on the sink, which was a detail exclusive to child Sims for some reason. In Sims 3 and 4, you can only see foams and bubbles when they wash hands. When Sims are napping, you can sometimes see them scratching their nose while asleep. There's this propeller hat that you can wear, and you know what's amazing? Even in live mode, the propeller freaking spins. I think this is one of the few accessories that are animated in The Sims. Shy and outgoing Sims will have different approach when flirting other Sims. Both of them will also react differently when being flirted. Shy and outgoing Sims will also do the sweet talk interaction differently. After ordering a drink from a bar, Sims will put both of their hands on the bar table. They may even do some unique idle animations, like tapping along to the music, greeting others, feeling depressed, etc. When you're using a bait to fish or wants to change the bait, there will be an animation of the sim manually attaching the bait onto the fishing line. In The Sims 3 and 4, the sim will just cast the fishing rod normally with the bait already being attached. In some cars, after getting in, sims can sometimes be seen fastening their seatbelt even though the actual seatbelt itself is not visible. Meanwhile, in The Sims 3, yeah, that's clearly not the case. There are garage doors that actually function properly in The Sims 2. If you place one on an extended driveway, when the car is going out, the garage door will open and the car will exit through it. Once it arrives home, it will also enter the garage through it. The Sims 3 also has garage doors that you can put in your home, but as you guys know, since cars teleport directly onto the road, it kinda only functions as a decoration. If a visitor rings your Sims doorbell but there's no one to greet them after waiting for a while, they will ring it again but this time they'll spam the doorbell multiple times at once. Sims with high creativity skill can sometimes be seen playing the guitar from behind their back. 
When a toddler is playing with a dollhouse and then bites one of the dolls, try clicking on the ground or on any object. You can see the doll still stuck in their mouth when the interaction selection UI appears. When kids play the cops and robbers game, usually one kid acting as the robber will play dead and the other acting as the cop will laugh at them. But if the cop kid has low nice personality points, they will outright kick the robber's body after laughing at them. Male sims with max outgoing personality can put out campfire by peeing on it. Yeah, you heard that right. If your sim catches some fireflies in a jar, that jar of fireflies will actually emit light into its surroundings. The lighting will even retain dynamically when the sim is walking while holding the firefly jar. Caught fireflies in The Sims 3 and 4 glow in the dark but they don't really emit light to their surrounding. When two sims are playing rock paper scissors, the winner of the round will gain relationship points while the loser will lose them. That's because The Sims 2 has one-sided relationship system where one sim may perceive their relationship differently to the other. If there's a sim crying, other sims can do this special console interaction. The sim will then comfort the sim without interrupting their crying animation until they stop, increasing their relationship. Older sims can also console crying child sims. It's such a heartwarming interaction overall. Keep in mind that this is different from the console or cheer up social interaction in The Sims 3 and The Sims 4 since it's just a regular social interaction. When opening a refrigerator, it will give off light to the surrounding. It's much more noticeable when the room is dark. The same goes for television when you turn it on. Cats can sometimes be seen playing and chasing butterflies or fireflies outside. Toddlers can also try to catch butterflies or fireflies outside when they're around. Sims can juggle cups from the coffee machine or tumblers from the bar table. They can also juggle together with other sims. If you have kids or teens with at least grade C in school, adults can invite the headmaster to your home via the phone. After that, the school headmaster will come at around 5 p.m. to evaluate your home. A notification will appear showing the overall score of the evaluation. You can increase this by doing a house tour to the headmaster, smooching them, and cooking them dinner. You can also gain bonus points by serving them coffee or bar drinks. If you reach at least 90 points in total before the time limit expires, all kids and teens in your house will be eligible to enter private school, with some benefits including this new uniform, less toll on needs when in school, skill gain rewards, and teens who are in private school will start teen and adult careers at level 2. Sims will actually act sick and be sneaky about it when they're fake calling in sick for work, like coughing directly to the phone and sneakily laughing about it afterwards. You can do the same in The Sims 3 and The Sims 4, but they act the same as when they're calling everyone else. Yeah, nobody's gonna believe you're sick when you laugh loudly about it, Jenny. There's this roundabout playground object that children and teenagers can play on. One sim will start the spin first before joining in the fun. It can be used by up to 4 sims at once. The way child and teen sims start spinning it will also differ. Adult sims can also help spinning the object. Sloppy sims will eat Chinese food delivery by pouring the content into their mouth directly instead of using chopsticks. Nasty. If a sim is playing remote controlled toys like cars or helicopters, pets can play with them by chasing them around wherever they go. When dining together, sims can throw drinks to others in order to irritate them. In some electronic objects like televisions, fire alarms, and stereos, you can see some cables being wired up to the objects if you take a look behind it. Here are some comparisons with similar electronic objects in Sims 3 and 4. Child Sims will have different sitting posture from adults. Unlike Sims 3 and 4, instead of putting their hands on their laps the same like adults, they put their hands right on the couch instead. If there's a pile of ashes on the floor, Sims can clean it up by sweeping it with a small broom and then throwing it away. In Sims 3 and 4, however, they will directly throw it away in a garbage bag. When a sim wants to sit on the side of the restaurant booth that's right next to the wall but another sim is blocking the way, the sim will hop onto it in a hilarious way. The same goes when they want to get out of there. Yeah, it's kinda silly but I guess it's better than not being able to sit there. There's this winter deer statue that you can actually pet. If you're not lucky though, you can get electrocuted because of it. If you look closely at this particular foundation, 
you can see a bunch of construction workers' footprints scattered all over the floor. When using a diving board, sims with low body skill or sims with a shy personality may chicken out and back off the board rather than jump. Additionally, if you put a diving board on the solid ground with the help of the move object sheet and have a sim try to jump on it, they will complain as if something is obstructing them and then refuse to jump. If you do this in Sim 3, the sim will just disappear and be teleported to nearby area while in Sims 4, they just go with it and start defying laws of physics. In the Sims 2 open for business, if a sim wants to buy objects sold in shops, they will put it in the shopping bag first and then proceed to pay for them through the cashier. In the Sims 3, you buy objects straight from the cashier, while in the Sims 4, they just grab the item immediately. They don't even interact with the cashier, so I don't even know what the cashier is for. Sims will occasionally get angry when fixing the cheapest TV the game has to offer, even if the sim doing it has the highest mechanical skill. When talking on the landline phones, if a sim wanders too far away from the phone base, they may put the handset down instead of hanging it up. You need to command them to put it back manually. In the Sims 2 free time, if your sim has a gold badge in sewing, they can sew a special outfit for all ages with textures that can be customized. There are three areas of the outfit that you can choose with six different textures. After finishing it, you can add it to your sim's wardrobe. In The Sims 4, you can knit clothing like sweaters, socks, and beanies if you have nifty knitting stuff back, but you can't really make customizable outfits like in The Sims 2, just a selection of preset swatches. When the weather is cold outside, steam will appear from swimming pools. If there are two landline phones and someone is using one to chat with a sim, when another sim is trying to use the other phone, you can join their call and chat together. Also, you cannot call anyone other than the sim that's currently being called, even if you choose other options. Sims with four or less nice personality points, if shoved or poked, will immediately attack back the same way. This isn't really a thing in The Sims 3 and The Sims 4, even if the target sim has the mean trait. Oppositely, if a sim with 5 nice points or more is insulted or attacked, they will usually cry right after that. Toddlers and children with high need personality point will put the building blocks away right after they finish playing with it on the activity table. If you want to play as a responsible teenager, instead of sneaking out past curfew, teens can ask permission to go out from their parents or guardians. If you have high enough relationship, they will approve it and a go out interaction will then be available on the phone so they can go together with their other teen friends. They will leave for a while and come back home after a few hours. So those are 50 additional Sims 2 details that's not in The Sims 3 and The Sims 4, making the total of the list to be 200. Whoa, that's a lot of features. If one of the details I mentioned in the video turns out to be available in both games, let me know in the comments and I'll try to clarify or correct it. Anyway, thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you like this kind of Sims videos and want more, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. See you later!